Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the reinforced cement concrete, or simply it is also known as the RCC, where R represents the reinforced, C represents the cement, and C represents the concrete. So RCC, it is a composite material made of the steel and concrete. So it is made of two material, steel and concrete. And why this material is so commonly used in the construction of building, bridges, or tunnels, and so on? Why? There is one main reason behind this. So in this lecture, we are mainly focused on why we use the reinforced cement concrete material. So I will explain this with the help of the example. Let's consider this is a simply supported beam, and when there is load acting on this beam, let's consider this is in a load, simply uniformly, uh, in a form of distributed load on this beam. So due to the load acting on this beam, there will be some uh, stresses created in this beam. So if I draw the bending, the bending shape of this beam on loading, so it will be look like this. So due to this load, there are some stresses in this beam created. So on the top, there will be some compressive stresses. It will be compressed in the top section due to this load and it will be tensioned in the below section of the beam. And there will be some tensile stresses at the bottom of the beam. Now, as we know, this is a fact that concrete is strong in compression. Concrete is strong in compression. So it can easily take the compressive stresses or the compressive load without any failure. But when there is no steel bar present, so upon loading, there will be directly the, uh, the deflection of the beam will be so much increases that there will be a big crack created between this two portion of the beam. Between this section and this section of the beam, there will be a huge big crack which will lead to the collapse of this beam because concrete is weak in tension concrete is weak in tension it cannot resist the tensile stresses or the tensile load so due to this property of the concrete that it is weak in tension it cannot resist these tensile stresses we must have to provide this some material that can increase the tensile capacity of this beam so what we do we provide the steel bar here we provide the steel bar and now this steel bar is responsible to take the tensile stresses of the beam section. So here we can write that steel is strong in tension. So now by the combination of the steel and concrete, it will take the compression and well as well as the tension load. So that's why we provide these two material and most of the structure in order to take both the compressor and tensile loads. Similarly, if we look to this simple, uh, this cantilever beam, this was a simply supported beam. Now, if we look to this cantilever beam, so when there is a load acting on this beam, so there will be again some stresses created. Now, it will be deflect like this upon loading. Upon this load, it will show some deflection or bending in this way, where now on the top, there will be tension. And on the bottom, there will be compression. So now it is the opposite of this of the simply supported beam. So as we know that the concrete is strong in compression, so we don't need to provide any steel bar at the lower portion of the beam. But at the top portion of the beam, there is tensile stresses in the cantilever beam. So we must have to enhance this tensile capacity by providing the steel bar at the top portion of the beam. So in this case, we provide the steel bar at the top portion of the beam. Now this steel bar is responsible to take the tensile stresses and here at the bottom there is a compressor stresses so we don't need to provide the steel bar at the bottom portion of the beam. So this is the main reason that we must provide the steel bar at those portion where there is a tension in any structure member. So it should be kept in mind that the reinforced cement concrete is most commonly used in structure members because of the fact that steel provides the tensile capacity to the structure member and concrete provides the compressive resistance to the member. 
Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for delicious engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.